Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I want to talk to you about reading the messages on your screen, poor interface design and Apple updates. My dad came to me this morning with an issue with the weather app on his iPad. He's used to seeing the current weather in the BOM app, Bureau of Meteorology, but there should be a button down the bottom left corner where he can look at the rain radar. Very important for seeing whether it's going to rain when you're playing bowls. What he was seeing instead was this, and he was confused. To be fair, Dad is 87. He didn't grow up with technology. In the year he was born, Monopoly was invented, and so was the first ever tape recorder. Canned beer was invented the following year. The ballpoint pen was invented about the time he started primary school. He's actually pretty switched on. But what he missed was that this box was a pop-up message that was trying to help him. Apple, in their wisdom, have tightened the privacy settings in recent Apple updates. And now the bomb weather app isn't allowed to see your location unless you give it permission. Unfortunately, the first time that it popped up and asked for permission, he must have said allow once, which is the default answer. Which means it could work out where he was at the time, but not in future. That's what this box is for. It's warning him that that is the case. Unfortunately, it's a little hard for some people to recognise that this is a pop-up message. It's poor interface design. It really should be an obvious box that pops up over the top of everything else. Or failing that at least a little bit transparent and obvious with a big thick border around it so you know it's all one message with the cross up the top right corner, rather than something that covers up a small but crucial part of the interface. The first answer is that all that we had to do was click the X in the top right corner of that box, and it went away, and there's the rain radar button. Done. Except, unless the app is given permission, it's going to keep coming up. So what we have to do is go into the settings, scroll all the way down, find the bomb app, and set it so it is always allowed to see location information. Now, when you go back to the app, it can see where you are, doesn't need to pop up the notification, and everybody's happy. It's not Dad's fault. It's just a confluence of Apple updates, poor interface design, and information overload, resulting in not reading everything we see pop up. Question of the day. Have you struck a situation like this? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video is useful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here, or our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode.